Hi Pisces, this is a peek at your partner for the week of February the 13th through February the 19th, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Pisces for February the 13th through February the 19th, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Pisces for February the 13th through February the 19th, 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Pisces for February the 13th through February the 19th, 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Pisces. Pisces, this is a peek at your partner. So, Pisces, your partner has the devil. Your partner has the eight of swords. Your partner has the two of cups. Your partner has the three of pentacles. And your partner has the high priestess. So, Pisces, your partner has the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this devil energy speaks of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is it's restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Pisces could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of something being to toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Pisces, partner. Clarify the devil for Pisces, partner. Clarify the devil for Pisces partner it is clarified with the hierophant could be dealing with a taurus but the hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization the leader of a metaphysical organization this is a clergyman a pastor a preacher a teacher a coach a mentor a counselor someone a wise counsel this is the institution of higher learning this is a corporate institution this is the marriage card so listen, Pisces could be dealing with a Taurus, but you guys may be in a commitment here. Someone may have commitment on the brain. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner waiting. And in this wait, they're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. They're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not they want to continue to invest, whether they want to reinvest. They're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of your partner looking at their coins, their harvest, their bank account. Looking at how much they have and how much they have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So listen, Pisces, your partner could tell me that they're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not they want to forgive because something was toxic. Your partner could tell me that they're waiting, contemplating, and debating about maybe commitment and going into a legal binding contract here. Whether to stay in one or to go into one. Your partner can also tell, them, tell me that they're dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency concerning some type of legal binding contract concerning these coins. 
Pisces. Your partner has the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling stuck. Like they're in a self-imposed prison of their thoughts. This is your partner feeling like they can't move. But they can move because it's all mental. This is them refusing to see some things. Refusing to acknowledge some things. A lack of information. Block communication. This is your partner feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Pisces, listen. Your partner can tell me that they're feeling stuck in a situation here. Or there's block communication. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance. But this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So listen, Pisces, your partner could tell me that they're feeling stuck because something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. Your partner could tell me that, hey, you know, they're blocking communication because someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. You know, there may be a stuck situation with some type of payout. Mm-hmm. Some type of contract here. I hope no one's going to jail and having to pay here. Listen, Pisces. Your partner has the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So, Pisces, listen. Your partner sees you as their soulmate. But this could also be some type of agreement here. Clarify the two of cups. For Pisces, partner. Clarify the two of cups. For Pisces, partner. Clarify the two of cups. For Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Pisces, listen, your partner can tell me that, hey, maybe we're soulmates here and we're reuniting. Yes, forgiveness is on the table here. Your partner can tell me that we're soulmates and we have just cause to celebrate. Maybe speaking of a legal binding contract, maybe a marital contract here. Your partner could also tell me that they have just cause to celebrate because, you know, there's some type of agreement. Maybe a legal binding contract with maybe work or business or some type of institution, organization, governmental agency, some type of payout here. I hope. There's not a third party where someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two, making it toxic. Pisces, your partner has the three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to your partner being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Pisces, listen, your partner could tell me that this is all work or business here. You know, some type of agreement or contract. Your partner could tell me that they're wanting to work things out, willing to put in the work here. However, your partner could tell me that there was a third party. Clarify the three of pentacles for Pisces, partner. Clarify the three of pentacles for Pisces, partner. Clarify the three of pentacles for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering their craft, perfecting their skills, trades, and abilities. This is your partner throwing themselves into their work. But this can also speak to them being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Pisces, listen, like I said, this could all be work or business, some type of agreement, collaboration, contract here. Your partner could tell me that they're willing to work things out in you guys' relationship. Your partner could tell me that... You know, maybe we're working on some type of legal binding contract, maybe a marital contract here. Your partner could also tell me that there was a third party at work. Pisces, your partner has the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets. 
keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for your partner to use their intuition, but they may know something that they're keeping to themselves. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another right now. So, Pisces, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys aren't speaking right now. Maybe there's blocked communication. Your partner could tell me that they're using their intuition here, okay? Maybe thinking long and hard about something. Or your partner's keeping a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Pisces, partner. Clarify the high priestess for Pisces, partner. Clarify the high priestess for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So listen, Pisces, I feel like this is about your partner using their intuition, thinking long and hard about commitment, commitment, a legal binding contract, having just cause to celebrate here because you're their babe, you're their soulmate. So I feel like your partner is working on maybe some type of agreement or wanting to work things out so that you guys can go into some type of agreement, maybe a marital agreement here, okay? Maybe we're just stuck with a situation of giving and receiving or something being off balance or someone giving more somewhere else giving to two, but I feel like commitment is on your partner's mind here. Pisces, this is a peek at your partner for the week of February the 13th through February the 19th, 2022. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.